Chris Irving invited us for a second installment of the Juniper Bistro. This time we're doing it here at the summer solstice. Look around you, beautiful sunshine. We might get a little bit of rain on a patio this afternoon, but we are in for some awesome food. And the two cowboys are here to experience it all and tell you about it. Let's go. Get a hug as well. No? Come on in. <laughs> How are you doing, my friend? Yep. Good seeing you again. Where's the idea coming from? I mean, obviously, it's a summer solstice, yeah. which means it's all going to get dark from here. So you make the most of the last bit of sunshine we, we've got? It started as a promotion to get people up from the center of Banff, and it just turned into a big party. I heard about booze. I heard about gelato. There's a few more on the menu, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, for sure. Well, while we're standing here, Mike's doing a couple of different kinds of oysters, the Pacific Cushies. The East Coast Malpex. We got Julian Bond, he's cruising around somewhere. His culinary students made some beef raviolis, some mozzarella raviolis. Graham and I are going to be here shucking to order pretty much. People should be eating oysters, they're the best thing on the planet. You're going to do one for me? Let's do that. Let's See, all right, what, what do you have there? Special okay. mojo? So this, is the, this is the cushy, these come from PI. And uh, I've made a sherry and red wine mignonette. I know the other cowboy is really jealous. <laughs> but he's looking after yoga class at the moment. So. <laughs> Security. Need to keep the riffraff out of that, yeah. that part, eh? Hey? So we just. Yeah. They were giving me a warning about some guys in cowboy hats, so we're looking for them right now. Uh, which one are you talking about? What are we serving today? We're serving Big Tasties, which is our vodka cocktail, orange, lemon, lime, cold pressed juice, and then our gin and tonics with our homemade tonic syrup. You gonna make me a drink? I would. What would you like? Your gin and tonic. Gin and tonic. Yeah. Perfect. That syrup is amazing. I know. Thank awesome. you very much, ma'am. Appreciate much. it. Enjoy this is a that. stiff drink. Look at this one. Wow. There's juniper Thank berries you. in there as well. This is supposed to be dessert, but you guys are doing it early today. Yes. What can I get for you? So which one is, is your favorite? You know what? I'm. You know what? You should just try them. Yeah. I'm gonna try all yeah. of them. It's a Berkshire pig. Born and raised on my land. We've got raw vegan cashew cheese. Check those there. The person there, honestly, is good. It, it is? is good, but it's not as good as in Czech. We have a Chardonnay. There's a sweet blend over here, um, a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Melbach, and Merlot. And we also have a wine wrap just right over here for us. I'm an admirer of your beautiful art you have. Thank you. That is amazing. That's a lifetime mm. of work to get it that way, isn't it? Many lifetimes. <laughs> Many lifetimes. Yeah. You, you hammer those yourself? Yes. So it's the wind on the water, the bubbles in the sand where the ocean meets the sea. So how long have you been doing pottery? I want to say 10 years, but I think it's been longer than that. You know what we need? We're the two cowboys, you probably know us. We need big beer mugs. Yes, you do. I heard you imported spaghetti into Banff. <gasps> no, fresh pasta. But if I'm in Banff, I did pasta with short rib. Food doesn't have to be fancy. Architecture doesn't have to be there. I'm doing raviolis today. That's probably the most simple presentation. And I'm not embarrassed by it because I'm proud of it. If you've got big chunks of short rib in there, it tastes like short rib, it feels like short rib, and you're happy eating it, that's a good dish. Here's our raviolis. So we're going to cook these in boiling salt and water, approximately four minutes. So the trick when you make good raviolis is before you put the ravioli in the bowl, butter and olive oil. Because there's an argument in Italy, which one's better? If you come from the north of Italy, yeah. you use uh, butter. That's right. You must use butter. If you use olive oil, they'll kill you. We're gonna put this in a tray. We're gonna put a little bit of sauce, a little bit of fresh tarragon and basil, because we got the short rib savory, the pasta, so tarragon and basil, a beautiful combination. Perfumes People it. get to enjoy it on a summer patio, fantastic. So what you can do, camera guy, you can walk around, get some really good shots, especially beautiful ladies. If you're looking for me, I'll be at Wildlife. I've got a gin and tonic waiting for me. So I'll see you in a few minutes. See ya. Some people would say in the Bow Valley, we find any excuse for a party. If it's summer solstice, if it's Christmas. You know, at one point I thought this is an Aussie party, but the reality is this is an amazing experience where locals come together. We've got some really high class food, we've got some really great drinks, local distillers here like Wildlife. But ultimately it's about living. 
and the experience of living. I mean, really look out there. See how amazing that is? And that's why we're in the Bow Valley. That's why you should come and experience it with us.